हेलो वी आर टीम कैश ऑप्टिमाइजर्स एंड आर टॉपिक इज मेमोरी कैश मेमोरी और कैश आर आर के ऑप्टिमाइजेशन फॉर ग्राफ एनालिटिक्स आई एम अध्याशा आई एम धनंजय आई एम रिदर सो हियर इज आवर प्रेजेंटेशन सो व्हाई इज ग्राफ एनालिटिक्स सो इंपोर्टेंट इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज़ इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ वेरियस डोमेन्स लाइक सोशल नेटवर्क्स पैंडेमिक प्रेडिक्शन एंड अ लॉट मोर बट व्हाई इज दिस वर्कलोड सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर वर्कलोड्स वी हैव सीन सो फार सो वी हैव वेंट थ्रू अ वैरायटी ऑफ पेपर्स एंड वी फाउंड सम कॉमन लिंक्स which include unpredictable access patterns very little temporal and spatial locality crashing at all levels of the memory hierarchy irregular accesses themselves have variable reuse which troubles the state of the art heuristic and learning based replacement policies and as a result of all of this they produce a lot of off chip memory accesses leading to high latency recent researches in this field have uh, made improvements but they are mostly based on software pre processing or hardware software interaction given just the trace we cannot do that and even software pre processing has its limitation as it is less practical for large graphs so what is our plan now we focus on three things changing the size of cache list changing the replacement policy and inclusive exclusive and non inclusive cache hierarchies so this is a baseline architecture there are few things to keep uh, track of uh, these are the cache sizes we are using and these are the associativity we are following uh, we are we have taken our own uh, del- del- uh, latencies and all of these are using lru replacement policy and there is no uh, prefetching being done so uh, changing the cache sizes so well, what we know is that for increase the uh, in general increasing the cache size will improve speed up but it will it may also result in higher latency and if we increase it to i it may cause ca- cache th- crashing so uh, here we have uh, plotted our results so we varied the llc size while also changing the Uh, latency depending on the size and then we plotted the speed up which is just the ipc divided by the baseline ipc and then we did this for uh, all the l2 and llc so this is the llc speed up and this is the l2 speed up and this is the mpki mpki is basically the l3 mpki and this is the l2 mpki now we'll go over the trends as to why all this is happening so observation number 1 we start with the pfs trace we see that is it is a very pathological trace because uh, instead of a speed up we observe a slow down as the size increases this indicating high reuse distance and a very high thrashing workload which experiences misses irrespective of the size of the cache but for the connected components and shortest path traces we see that for the llc there is a gradual increase and after a point there is a uh, little decline due to latency in accesses but for the l2 we see here that the performance is very insensitive to the change in size and it only increases when the l2 is made very large now we focus a little closely on the zero size cache lengths like the when we set the llc and l2 to be of size zero for the pfs trace again as we know that the uh, performance is like it declines because of the change in size of cache when we set the size to zero we actually get a speed up in both l2 and llc and for the connected components and ssp traces we see that for llc as there was a gradual uh, increase in the performance setting the size to zero gives us a slowdown with respect to the baseline architecture and for l2 as uh, the change in size did not affect the performance setting the size to zero actually gives us a speed up with respect to the baseline architecture lastly we see the mpki uh, here we see as we predicted for the bfs the mpki is really independent of the cache size but another interesting thing that we note here is for both llc and l2 there is a linear decrement in the mpki as size increases but if the decrement is in mpki is same then why is there is difference in the speed up proved by both yeah. so the speed up depends on the ipc and the ipc depends on two factors the miss rate and the miss penalty we already know that increasing the cache size will decrease the miss rate but uh, as we can see the miss penalty uh, depends on both the l2 and llc latency but the factor of the l2 latency is uh, larger than the factor of the llc latency hence we can say that miss penalty is more sensitive to l2 latency so as we increase both the sizes the miss penalty for increasing the l2 latency will be uh, more and hence it will have smaller ipc and so smaller speed up Here we validate our results with what we saw in various research papers. The basic uh, outcome was that private L2 cache shows negligible performance sensitivity, while the shared LLC shows high performance sensitivity. Major reason being the l- large reuse distance among all the uh, workloads, 
another uh, observation was that an architecture without private end to cash is just as fine for graph processing. Another thing that we tried was changing block size, keeping the ca cache size constant. Our main motivation was that indirect memory excesses that are part of dependency chains in graph processing kernel are not streaming excesses. They hence exhibit poor cache locality and utilization. So we expected that reducing the block size might give us an improvement. However, the optimization failed. We failed as expect and as expected for regular workload on decreasing block size, speed up decreased and MPI increased significantly, as we can see here. But why did we fail? A possible reason that we thought is, although the excess frequency is high, the total portion of memory that is accessed indirectly is quite less, three to five percent. Hmm. So now we'll go on to inclusive, exclusive and non-inclusive cache hierarchies. So first we'll just compare them directly uh, using just LRU replacement policy. So uh, you can see that we have taken the non-inclusive cache hierarchy as the baseline and that is because that is the default implementation which Champsim uses. And another thing which we can see is that exclusive is performing very poorly while inclusive and non-inclusive are performing uh, almost equally. Now we'll also uh, look at how each replacement policy performs uh, among themselves for uh, each inclusive inclusion policy. So this is for the non-inclusive cache. Uh, it's uh, okay. I have sorted this, and there is also a similar. Uh, there's also a similar graph for inclusive and exclusive caches, uh, cache hierarchies. So these are the different replacement policies which we have. Uh, plotted this one, it's most recently used, least frequently used, uh, first in, first out, SHIP, DRRIP, SRRIP, random, and least recently used. Now we'll go over some of these trends and why they are happening. So uh, we expected oh, frequency-based replacement policies to work better than recency-based because the latency bo bottleneck is the high reuse distance, uh, which is re repeatedly accessed memory location. But what actually happened was this was only true for uh, non-inclusive cache hierarchy. For exclusive, all the replacement policies perform poorly except LRU and for inclusive, SHIP works the best. Uh, we can see that here. For exclusive, everything except LRU works very badly. For inclusive, uh, uh, SHIP is working better. And for non-inclusive, uh, it's hmm, so frequency-based perform better. Here again, we validate the results with what we saw in various research papers online. So there was this master's thesis which claims that SHIP stands out in inclusive, inclusive caches and LRU uh, stands out in exclusive caches. Uh, the result, as we can see here, was the same. Another paper, Graphfire, uh, claims that the frequency-based replacement is, is significantly more effective at learning and retaining the problematic excesses with high reuse. And this was the result that we saw in non-inclusive cache that LFU works much better than LRUs. Hmm. So now we'll combine everything that we have learned so far and we'll create a cache hierarchy tailored for each taste. So this is it. Uh, these are the sizes which we have used for each cache. And as you can see, all of them uh, apply the non-inclusive cache hierarchy. Uh, two of them have L2 uh, size set equal to zero and the other has uh, LLC equal to zero. And as we can see for CEC and SSSP, uh, they have a pretty significant speed up and this is important because we are not using any prefetching and this 50% uh, speed up is over the LRU, which is LRU and uh, BFS is performing weirdly and this ignore this also. This is because uh, we are not, uh, the LLC is not active at all for this trace. Some additional thing that we explored uh, during the research that we did was this, uh, Hardware-based memory hierarchy approach, graph hierarchy, which is probably the state of the art, uh, only hard, that uses just hardware for this uh, optimization. The basic idea is learns the uh, instructions which call for indirect accesses uh, and optimize the performance through tailored fetch insertion replacement policies. At the high level, there are four kinds of access patterns, infrequent slash primary and streaming indirect patterns. It implements a reference table which learns which instructions are responsible for what type of access pattern. And it incurs a negligible hardware overhead. The idea for cache policy implementation for these indirect accesses is tailored access granularity, data aware caching, and frequency based eviction. Uh, the memory hierarchy design has some few important ideas as it uh, implements two types of cache blocks a normal 64 byte cache block and a 64 byte cache block, which is a merged block of coalesced non contiguous sub blocks that store data for fine grained accesses. 
it also implements a subtract mat matching unit which performs these operations on specialized merge blocks. These SMTs are basically built on the same idea uh, as a cache hierarchy. We can see them as a cache hierarchy of just one line. Uh, these are the results from the paper which shows that the graph fire uh, works much, gives much better speed up than other state of the art graph specialized cache management policies. So yeah, that was from our side. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank These you. are the references that we used.